Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Welcome back to Budget Save Grow. Hope you've had um, a lo lovely start to your bank holiday weekend. Um, mine has been lovely. It was my birthday on Friday. I went to work for a bit, got, you know, got some lovely things from work. More on that later. And um, so unfortunately, my husband's been really poorly. So he's all the sorts of plans and things got cancelled. So today I'm going to go to my parents' house and um, my brother and his wife and children are going to be there. So it's going to be a really lovely day today. So I almost feel like it's my birthday today. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm thrilled. Anyway, thank you for all your messages, by the way, on Instagram and, and on YouTube. But it was, it was very sweet. I was really touched. Okay, so today, let's count the money we've got. We've got 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 110. And there we go. Now, I've already taken £20 out and put petrol in my car yesterday um, because I knew I was going to my parents today. So that's already done. Um, oh, I didn't bring my little mini envelopes with me. Let's just section it off. £10 goes in top-up shop for food. This might have to increase. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then I put £5 in for miscellaneous. You know what? I'm just going to pop them in this little... Ooh, that's a bonus. Pop them in this little purse here. My hair. Um... And I'll transfer it into my mini envelopes in a bit. There we go. So that's that bit sectioned off. The next thing I want to do is do um, some of my penny savings challenge. And I've got some 50p's and £2 coins. So I did have £1.73. But now I've got £1.83. But that's fine. I've already worked out what I can cross off. So it's 43, 42, 41, and it was going to be 7, but I'll do 17 now, and I'll add that 10p in. So this just goes into my uh, jar like that. That just stays over on the side, and I can forget about it. Wafty, wafty, there we go. So that's that one done. The boy had his hair cut, so that's empty now. 50p's. So this week I got four 50p's. Um, here we go. So I'll just, whoops, colour off four of these. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I've got some really nice prezzies. I'm a very, um, I'm the sort of person I'm really easy to please. <laughs> I'm really easy to buy for. So um, the uh, cook at work, bless her, she, um, I often go down and ask for a little slice of cheese <laughs> for her to cut off a slice of cheese and give it to me. And she bought me this little block of cheese for my birthday. It was very sweet. I w it was much appreciated, like really strong, you know, make oh, my mouth watering now. Um, so I was thrilled. That was actually one of my best presents. <laughs> so yeah, I got that because uh, somebody was asking, oh, let us know what you um, got for your birthday. I got a lovely pen set. That's why my fingers, I've got ink all over me. My son bought me a little dip fountain pen set. Um, I got um a t-shirt and i got oh a tin for seeds and tools at the allotment that sort of thing i love practical prezzies so um so yeah i'm really easy to buy for um two pound coins so i got six i have two and my husband gave me one um so here we go <gasps> lordy lordy okay six so that's three. One, two, three. We're into the 50s, guys. We're into the 50s. So this week, I'm going to be really conscious. Um, 
and make sure I keep every two pounds and I'll, I'll ask my husband as well too. And then maybe we might reach the 50 next week. And then the plan is for this is that half will go into my 52 week challenge and half will go into the summer holiday envelope. I have absolutely loved this challenge. Loved it. So yeah, there we go. Okay, let's start stuffing. These are my variable expenses. So gifts is going to get five. My mum's birthday is coming up and also my niece and nephew. I've started buying little bits and bobs, so I've been using some of this, um, but I just wanted to make sure I added some in this week. So that's 20, 30, 40, 55 in gifts. There we go. Clothes isn't getting anything. Bramble, he's getting 10. That's the dog. Um, we bulk buy his food, so that's going to be in there. He's now got 20. And there we go. Camping is actually going to get 15 because we're all set to go. Um, and I want to make sure that, you know, it seems like for us this year, a lot of our expenses are all gonna come at the same time. So my son has starting high school, it's his birthday at the same time, we've got the summer holidays, we've got a camping trip. So I just want to make sure we're chipping away. 35 in camping. Home is getting five. So in here we've got 20, 30, 40, 50. And that will be 60. Need to buy a few bits of furniture. So um, we'll, we'll buy them secondhand. So um, that can just help towards that. I'm not getting anything. Neither is friends and garden. Mm, I'm not sure if that's getting anything. I might need to spend out of there actually this weekend. And body. Can't remember if I put five pound in garden on, or not. We'll see. We'll see what happens at the end. So yes, um, I was listening to the radio the other day and they were talking about a particular brand of um, hand soaps and things like that. Now, a, a bottle of hand soap is £40. And so they are high, high end um, sort of, I don't know what you would call it because it's not really cosmetic stuff, but anyway. And the woman, so that's fine. You know what, if that's your thing, then that's fine. Um, if you love the product and it does something for you, but it was the way the woman was describing um, the, the hand soap, which just, honestly, it blew my mind. She said, well, of course, you know, because, the interviewer was saying, is it really worth that much? And uh, and she said, it's actually the experience of going to buy the hand soap. And I thought, crikey, these people are so clever. You know, they make the, she says, we make the ambiance in the shop smell really good, all this stuff. And, um, and it's all trickery, of course. It's all smokescreen. And, um, you know, she's obviously paid a fortune in order to make us think that that is what an experience is. And I just thought, actually, you know, walking along the beach is an experience. Buying soap to wash your hands with is not an experience. <laughs> well, it's not in my view anyway. But we've all been sort of brainwashed into it, haven't we? You know, what you know, marketing is a huge lucrative business, and um, we just have to sometimes just stop and think, hang on a minute, <laughs> because honestly, it made me feel a bit sick the way she was talking about it. Because I was thinking, this is craziness. Okay, sorry, I'm really waffling. I might cut that bit out. Okay, 20, 40, 60. 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 150 in Christmas, I'm going to add 10. So that is now 160. 
There we go. Island isn't getting anything. Savings getting its usual fiver. So in here, we've got 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. Great, whoopsie. So once that gets up to another 100, I'll pop it in the, um, pop it in the bank and uh, just keep going. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, bills fully stuffed. Car is actually going to get five. And there we go, so it's 20, 40, 60, 65, 70 in car now. There we go. So that's that one. Yeah, sorry about that little waffle, but it was just so interesting. And then I sort of went down the rabbit hole again the other day about, you know, my friend um, was talking about food waste and, um, well, actually, no, she wasn't. She was talking about the price of food at the moment. And then we spoke about our meal plans for that week and, and something like that. She's not a meal planner, which is totally fine. Um, but it was a Monday and I said, oh, have you got any leftovers from the roast? You could make an ice bubble and squeak with sausages or something, because that's obvious. That's sometimes what I like to have. And she said, oh, no, I'll just chuck chuck all the stuff off to the roast if anything's left over. I was shook, I think is the phrase. <laughs> and, uh, but she's always commenting on how expensive food is. And then I looked up that, like still in 2022, so much food was thrown away, like uh, billions of tons of food was thrown away, 70% of which was household waste. So our, our thinking just isn't joined up. We, we are experiencing how expensive food is and yet we're still buying more because we're chucking it. It's, um, you know, and I think that's something for myself. I've got to stop being really, I want to be much more mindful about what I bring into the house, how I'm gonna use it, um, especially in the summer, because obviously there's going to be a massive glut from the garden. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll really use the honesty box and put things outside this, this year. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry, it's a bit of a waffly one today. Uh, birthday is going to get five. So we have got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 20, 5. There we go. So that's good. That's slowly ticking, ticking. Oh, I think I can cross another ding dong off. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 20. Oh no, I can't. I thought this one was 25. No, there we go. Never mind. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a funny, interesting week on reflection at school holidays is here we go these are my dividers that's the half term so i've got 15 in half term and i've got five pounds in the summer holidays so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put 15 and i'm going to put 10 in half term and i'm going to put five in the summer holidays they're going to come around like the clappers but remember i've got that two pound coin challenge so £25 will be going in the summer section. So that will help bumping up. But yeah, I might have to um, give that a bit of a surcharge or, you know, supercharge, I should say. Trips isn't getting anything. School uniform is going to get five. So in here we've got 10, 20, 30, 40. And that's five. There we go. School is going to get five in here. We have got, so this is for my son's um, high school uniform and all the bits and bobs he needs for it. So it's 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, and that's now 50. So that goes in there. That's good. I'm feeling... Uh, 
positive about that. I'm so glad I started that envelope. Can you imagine? Oh, okay. What have I got left? 10. Yeah. So that's fine. Perfect. 10 pounds goes in the Christmas card <laughs> challenge. So at the end of the year, cut up Christmas cards, put paper tape on so they can be fully recyclable. And um, I just put whatever is left over in here. Shut the box and uh, wait until next year to open these and stuff my envelopes for 2024. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I was going to ask for those of you who are watching to the end. Um, I was wondering if I should keep all my garden content on a different um, YouTube channel. Now, the difference is, is that I actually grow food to help our budget, which is all part of how we live as a family. So I do see it as relevant, but I know lots of you just like watching the cash stuffing. So let me know what you think in the comment below. Give me a like and subscribe if you fancy, and um, I will see you next time. All right, I'm off to eat uh, a huge dinner at my parents'. <laughs> Take care. Bye.